Okay. Well, tell these, me what your thoughts of the court system are. You walk into the courtroom with these women. They lie. Nobody holds, holds them accountable. And his, my son's particular case, it was in papers, in the child assessment papers, that she accused him of inappropriately touching his daughter and, in, and going to take the children and kidnap them. She even put my granddaughter on a telephone crying to get my son to sign a form saying that he would bring them back when he wanted to take them away for a weekend to a cottage in Bancroft, for God's sakes. And they do nothing. So the next time I'm in court, if anyone ever asks me to put my hand on a Bible or anything else, it will never, it won't happen because it, it's a bunch of crap. That's what I think of the court system and, and family law or any place. I, I don't understand. I don't understand how these women can continuously lie and in his case, the judge called him the liar. A, a child that was raised by me and told, if you ever, ever lie to me, you'll be accountable because you will embarrass me. And if you tell the truth, everything is fixable. So everything I have taught him, family law, has made a mockery out of Let me ask another question then. From, from a financial perspective, what has this cost you and members of your family financially? It's, it's cost me close to $40,000. We had to sell our home to help support my son and his family, his new family, and my basically the grandchildren. I live in a home with him now, and I basically put most of the food on the table. And what did that money have to be used for? Was it uh, for court costs or legal Co costs? Well, the first one was for uh, back support that when he went to trial, they wouldn't listen to him unless he, he paid $17,000 he was owed, and the rest has gone on lawyer fees. And it, of the 40, and then in between, it's basically I spend close to $2,000 a month, and that there's only my husband and I. And the only thing I have is a two, maybe three hundred dollars personal. The rest is goes towards food to help Don and Rob feed my grandchildren, look after, take so they can go on school trips, so they can go here. I even offered to pay. Um, he had to pay for dentist work for my granddaughter. I went with my ex, with his ex, to the dentist. The dentist told me that the teacher's pension paid for half. It was $1,000. I said to her, fine, I will give you $250. You pay $250 and I'll pay $250. The school paid five. No, she wanted the, it from the full amount. So in other words, you want to make money? No, that ain't going to happen. I'll give you $250. I gave her the money. To this day, she has never cashed the check. This is a woman that's hard up for money. That was over a year ago. My granddaughter now has her braces off. 